you can see it is the same story as up hold on hold on I wanted to buy honey from a few hours but everywhere they sell only big containers maybe here they will have small okay here they have small wonderful okay this is what I need Извините. 160, да? Секундочка. Какого меда? А? Мед какой? Липовый. Ищ... Липовый. 160, да? О. Вот. Вот. Секундочку, я сейчас дам вас счет 10. Вот. Спасибо. So, uh, from a few hours, I wanted to buy honey, but they always very big containers, and I don't want to risk with big big container because it might melt, not melt, but I can damage it here in the tank bag, for example, and then everything inside will be disaster, especially when it's became so hot. Uh, the price small container 1.60 euro more or less I don't know what is this 200 grams maybe so honey if you don't know honey you can use for everything for food for like a antiseptic to cure your injuries if you have uh, It is also a very good immune system booster and I prefer to have it with me So yeah, as you can see the same situation same shit different day as SSDD It is uh, 5 o'clock in the afternoon and uh, yesterday I moved the clock with one hour ahead Today I moved it another one hour ahead yeah. So basically now every day I'm gonna move the clock one hour ahead which is mean that every day I'm gonna have one hour left uh, one, hour, one hour less for riding and this is the situation until I'm going east When I go back it will be exactly the opposite So now it's 26 degrees but today early morning I started from Samara it was 13 and rain then trains until 2 in the afternoon and then stop and now it's wonderful not so hot not cold perfect condition riding conditions and so far I've got let me see how many let me see 500 5, 557 kilometers so far and uh, even though I plan to ride no more than 500 per day now I feel good I'm not even tired yet my health is fine and I will ride maybe my, maybe one more hour maybe two hours and then I'll stop the original plan was to find uh, a hotel in a small town named uh, what was the name Satka yeah Satka but then I checked the prices in Satka and uh, I couldn't find anything cheaper than 40-50 euros it looks like it is some kind of uh, resort town and all the prices are very expensive and I gave up this idea and uh, what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna write until I find a hotel or hostel on the road actually so many 
but it was too early to stop but after one hour I'm gonna check everything that I can find and eventually spend the night over there because I'll be on the road tomorrow morning I can continue immediately I don't need to go to the towns and so on and so on the only requirements that I've got is to have parking or safe place to park the motorcycle what kind of hotel what kind of room what kind of bed I really don't don't mind but parking is important yeah so far so good as they say here now I have to break some rules otherwise I'll ride <laughs> behind this truck all day let me tell you something funny when I started from Samara today the GPS set straight on for 212 kilometers and I removed it because I don't need it and it was raining anyway so I need to remove it and guess what after 220 kilometers it was around about and then I continued straight on so so far 550 kilometers straight on only and I'm sure that uh, until uh, Chelyabinsk there are more 300 kilometers it will be only straight on so 800 kilometers straight on and uh, I'm 90% I'm sure that it is exactly the same tune Novosibirsk so in uh, Russia actually you don't need anything you don't need map you don't need GPS you don't need telephone anything if you can only read the signs they are very uh, detailed and show you where you have to go and the options with the roads are not that many and that's why it's easy but of course the signs are on Cyrillic so you have to be able to read Cyrillic alphabet see what is the situation I cannot even overtake this truck because of the traf traffic but now I'm gonna do it and don't judge me for this I know that on this line cannot overtake but here I can otherwise as I said I'm gonna stay here forever and uh, it is like battle with with wind because now I can overtake 10 12 or or 20 trucks and then what there will be the same number ahead for example now when I stop for the honey all of these trucks just got in front of me so this is never never ending battle but it is what it is I knew this in advance so it's all right all right guys this video is long enough see you in the next ciao